I must admit, I do like technology. I like machines, and I like the efficiency they deliver. I'm guilty. From a very early age, I both wanted to know more and more about the rules by which this universe of ours operates. And through the world of engineering, I wanted to start applying those rules to create inventions that would give people a better quality of life if those inventions work. Most kids, when they grow up, develop what's called good judgment. That's what we as adults call it, when we actually lose our sense of fun, our imagination, and, uh, and a whole lot of things that I didn't want to give up. When I was a kid, I thought, I'm going to have a house where I can get up in the morning and go downstairs and open up a giant glass wall and take a helicopter out of my house and take off right from my house and go any place I want to go. When I was a kid, I thought it would be cool to have secret passages. I'm going to put secret passages in. Some people want a classic piece of artwork in their foyer, a Monet, a Rembrandt. In my foyer, I have this old steam engine built well over 150 years ago. It actually ran a tugboat called the HMS Oscar. I would be terrified to have to get on a horse, some great big animal with teeth. I don't want to go near a pile of muscle that big, but I've never been afraid of any machine. That engine, it's a work of art created by a different kind of artist. It also represents great achievements that took hundreds of years to develop and understand. When I'm awake, I'm working. So I'm wearing my work clothes. And Dean just doesn't know the difference between work and play, so he always wears his jeans. None of the kids like him. I have all the letters, and this one I got from Dean, 1964. Dear Mommy and Daddy, I want to come home, exclamation. If I can't come home, please send the following as soon as possible. One accountant, one marketing expert, three secretaries. I'll try to write again soon, but I have to go to volleyball now. Your woeful and outcast son, me. That was written <laughs> then. He wanted three secretaries. I remember very well being a little kid. I'd think, and I'd look at the world, and I'd imagine things. Everything I saw gave me questions about everything. Why, when you bounce a ball, each time it hits the ground, it, it bounces lower on the next shot. How does it do that? You put a hot cup on the table, it cools off. You put a cold cup on the table, it warms up. How? Why? Most of what the world does is quite amazing, and you could be very confident that it'll always do the same thing over and over again. But how does all that happen? There are a few people that actually took little pieces of that and made sense out of it. I asked my father for these great scientists and thinkers. They're beautiful art, and they're done by my father. <laughs>